Good afternoon. We thank you for joining us again for once again to come before the Lord and on behalf of those who may be in need. Hopefully what we say and that what you hear from an Oasis connection will make a difference in your life that you God would show you or help you to understand things that may be uh it may be relevant to what's going on at with you at that time. We're gonna pray, we pray for hope and healing. The God is a God that understands because he's he came in the form of a man, but he was touched with every our one of our infirmities. He know everything that we go through. That's nothing strange to him. You know, he's a God uh, that understands it all. Even though he was God, he was also a man. And we thank you, Lord Jesus, for who you are. We thank you for the opportunity to come to you yes, again Lord. on behalf of those who may be hurting, more like yes, God, those Lord. who may be searching for answers, more like God. We know that yes, you and you Lord. alone are worthy to receive yes. all glory, all honor and praise. Lord God, you said in your word, my Lord Jesus, that if any man lack wisdom, my Lord God, yes, let him ask you, you give him to the living and the my Lord God. We ask yes. God to listen to all things, my Lord God, yes, that we would pray your will, your desire, my Lord God. We pray that your kingdom come, your will be yes, done, my Lord God, on earth as it is in heaven, my Lord God. Your perfect will, not just submissive will, Lord, but your perfect will will come yes. to pass, my Lord God, in the lives of those who are affected, my Lord God. Lord God, we especially pray for those who are affected, my Lord God, by these fires that are tend to be going on around the area, not only in Texas, but around the world, my Lord God, that you would touch their hearts, mind, body, and spirit, my Lord God. Let them know that you alone are doing something all the time, my Lord God. They're providing, my Lord God. Actually place people within, full of your spirit, full of your anointing, my Lord God, within that path, my Lord God, that would encourage them, my Lord God, to reach out to them, my Lord God, to provide the needs that they may physically have, my Lord God, for his food, whether it may give donations or money, whatever it takes, my Lord God, for them to help them to understand, my Lord God, that you are there, my Lord God, that you care, my Lord God, because you are a good, good father, my Lord God. You say you'll never leave enough for sake, my Lord God. You stick with us closer than a brother. And we thank you, Lord Jesus, for who you are, because you alone are worth to receive our glory and praise, my Lord God. My God, we also pray for those, my Lord God, who are affected, my Lord God, by this uh, sickness that's going around, my Lord God, that you touch their physical body, my Lord God. You be there, Jehovah, not the healing my Lord God. Lord God, that you touch them, my Lord God, in their mind, body, and spirit, emotion, my Lord God. Pray for those who may be affected, my Lord God, by this virus that's still rapidly in COVID, my Lord God, and this new virus that's on the scene, my Lord God, called monkeypox, my Lord God. That you would touch them, my Lord God. Give the doctors the wisdom that they need, my Lord God, to make a difference in the lives of those who are affected, my Lord God. Let not lead to the understanding, my Lord God, but all the ways of knowledge to you. You will direct their path, my Lord God. Let them pray unto you, my Lord God. That then you would provide them, my Lord God, with the wisdom that they need, my Lord God. That you be able to touch the lives of those who are affected, my Lord God. We pray for a spirit of encouragement, my Lord God, not only for the doctors, my Lord God. For those who are, who are affected, my Lord God, that you touch their mind, body, spirit, their emotions, my Lord God. Because you are, my Lord God, Jehovah Shalom, my Lord God, the God of peace. Give them a peace that passes our understanding, my Lord God. Not the peace that the world will give, but your peace. Knowing that you're able to do above and beyond anything you can ask or imagine, my Lord God. You say we have not because we ask not, Lord God. We come right now, Lord God, asking for that you would give them a peace, my Lord God. Give them the joy, my Lord God. Let them know that the joy of the Lord is truly their strength, my Lord God. Not to look unto man, my Lord God. Not to look under circumstances, my Lord God. Let them know, my Lord God, even during this time, my Lord God, when they lost their homes, my Lord God, they may have lost their homes, my Lord God. They may be affected by floods, my Lord God. Let them know that they have their life, my Lord God. And like, Lord God, that you protected them, my Lord God. It may not, they may not understand what they're going through, my Lord God. But let them know you are there, my Lord God. You are safe, you are close as a whisper, my Lord God. And we ask that you would touch them in a way that no man can, my Lord God. And ask that your church would come to the forefront, my Lord God. Be Jesus in corner, my Lord God. People with Jesus with skin on, my Lord God, that they be able to physically touch, my Lord God. Lord God, we also say in your word, my Lord God, in Isaiah 41, 10, fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. And we thank you, Lord God, for who you are. And we thank you, Lord Jesus, that you even now you're interceding for us. You see that the right hand of the Father will make intercession on our behalf. And we thank you for who you are, that you loved us so much that you came and you died for us, but you rose again on the third day with all power, all glory in your hand. And we thank you for who you are, my Lord God. 
But Lord, you also say in the word of the Psalms 10 7, Lord, you hear the desires of the afflicted. You will strain their heart. You will incline your ear. We thank you, Lord God, that you hear us when we pray, Lord God, that you are God that is able to, to hear, Lord God. You're not like those out of the people you should pray to the older name, Lord God. You're a living God. Yes. You say you're not a man that you should lie, nor the son of man that you should repent. You say if you said it would come to pass. Yes. We thank you, Lord, just for who you are, for what you're doing to and through us as we yield ourselves before you. Actually, use us mightily for your glory. Let us make a difference in the life that we encounter, yes. that you be exalted above all things. This we ask in Jesus' name we pray, my Lord God. Amen. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You yes. You want me to pray? Yes. Yeah. Father, I just thank you. I give you praise. I give you glory, Father. I thank you, Father God, for just being. Oh, Father God, just being our God, being our Father, being our King, being our Savior, being our Justifier, being our shield, oh, Father God. And then we got a benefit that is just for the righteous. You said the righteous can run into you and be saved. And I thank you for that, oh, Father. I thank you, Father God, you said, let the redeemer of the Lord say so. Father, so we're saying so today, Father God. We're praying to you. We're calling upon your name, oh, God, because you told us if we call upon you, you will show us great and mighty things we know not of. So, Father, we need the great and the mighty things right now, Father God, because we know, Father God, all that type of things are going on, Father God. We have uh, 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 floods on one side, oh, Father God. We have uh, 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 fires on, on another side, Father. We got uh, COVID on another side, oh, Father God. And then we got Michael Potts on another, one, Father God. And I thank you, Father God, that you... Just see, you still Lord, oh Father God, and you're still King, oh Father God. But you said, Father God, if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray. So, Father, we're humbling ourselves before you, Father God, because we need your mercy and grace, Father. And you told us to come to you boldly, but yet humbly, Father God, to seek the, the mercy and the grace and need and uh, to help in time of need. And we need you today, oh God. We thank you, Father God, in the name of Jesus. So we're praying to you, Father God. You chose to humble ourselves, and then you chose to pray, then you chose to seek your face. We're seeking your face, oh Father God. Then you said to ask, oh Father God. And you said if we ask, oh God, we should find. And you said if we seek it is, uh, 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 it, we should find, oh Father, not, and the door shall be open. So Father God, we're asking so we can receive our Father, then we'll, uh, 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 oh God, oh God, we need you. We need you so much, oh Father. We need you so much. We're calling upon you, God. We, we need your mercy, Father. We need that sufficient grace, Father God, when, 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 when people are, are, are weak. <laughs> You're strong in us, oh God. We need you, God. So, Father, we're seeking your face, oh, God. We're seeking you, Father. You say we'll find you. So, if we seek you with all our hearts. So, we're seeking you with all our hearts, oh, Father God. And then you said, if we turn from our wicked ways, oh, Father God, let us turn from all our wicked ways. Everything, Father God, that we know, Father God, that we can re repent of, Father God. So we can come back to you, Father God. Forgive us for our iniquities, our trespasses, our transgressions, anything said or done that's not pleasing in your sight. Father, please forgive us, oh, Father, so we can come back to you, Father. Oh, God, and I thank you for that, oh, Father. Then you said you're here from heaven. That's a promise, oh, God. And we know you the promise keeper, Father. And we know all your promises are yea and amen. And we know, Father God, you're not a man where you can lie. And then you said, let every man, oh God, let God be truth and every man be a lie. So, Father God, everything that you promised us in this word, oh Father God, we know it's true. And we know we can depend and trust in you, Father, because you told us that we trust in you with all our heart and lean not to our own understanding, but in all our ways and knowledge you, you will direct our path. So, Father, we acknowledge you, know you Father God. We need we need you, God. We need your help, oh God. We need your mercy, oh God. We need your grace, oh God. Oh God, there's so much darkness in this world, oh Father God. But we got to follow behind Jesus because you said Jesus is the light of the world. And if we follow behind you, it will be no darkness at all. We should not walk in any darkness at all, oh God. That's your word, oh God. And we believe and trust in your word, oh Father. So Father God, we'll continue to acknowledge in you, Father God, for everything that we need, oh Father, because you have everything 
everything that we need, oh, Father, because you are our rock, oh, God, and we can stand up on you, oh, Father, God. You are our salvation, and we know, Father, God, we can depend, Father, God, on you, Father, God, to set free, deliver, oh, Father, God, oh, God, because you said who the Son set free is free indeed. So, Father, God, I thank you for that, oh, Father, God. Let us, oh, God, walk in your, your word, oh, Father, God, because you said those that don't do your word, Father, and just hear us, oh, Father, God. You say we deceive ourselves. So you said don't just be doers of the word, oh, Father, God. But you said you said uh, to be doers of the word, Father, and I thank you for that, oh, Father. Don't just be hearers of the word, but be doers also. So, that, so we won't deceive ourselves, oh, Father. And I thank you for that, oh, Father. So, Father God, I thank you, Father God, for the promises, oh, Father, that you hear hearing from heaven, Father, right now. I know that you hear the prayers of the righteous, Father, and you said you delight in our prayers. And we know that we are the righteous of God through Jesus Christ. Jesus, thank you for interceding for us. Thank you. Thank you. That's a perfect prayer, interceding for us, Jesus. We know, we know you got us, Jesus. And I thank you for that. I thank you, Father God, in the name of Jesus, oh God, that you said you would forgive us our sins. That's a promise of God. So I thank you that you've forgiven us for our sins, oh Father, so you can come and, and, and put your light out through this world, oh Father God. And then you said you will heal our land. Our land need healing, oh God. Our land need healing. We need healing, God. We need you. We need you. And we're calling upon you, Father. And we need to see great and mighty things from you, Father God. That's a promise from you, oh, Father. And then, Father God, you said your eyes are open up on us. So look up on us, oh, God. Look up on us, Father. And then you said your ears are open to our prayers. So, Father God, we know you hear us, oh, Father God. And I thank you, Father God. I thank you. I thank you. And I give you praise. And I give you glory, Father. So these things I ask in Jesus' name. So, so be it. And let it be done, Father, because I trust in you. Because I have faith in you. Because you say, without faith, it's impossible to please you. But those that come to you must believe that you are God. And you are a reward of them that diligently seek you. So we're seeking your face, oh, God. We're seeking your face right now, Father God. And we're seeking your mighty powerful right hand, Father God, touch the land, oh, Father God. Oh, God, you said uh, righteousness, sir, a, a, a nation, so, Father, we need to be exalted. We need to be lifted up, oh, Father God, and I thank you for that, oh, God. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen, and to God be the glory. Hallelujah. Thank yes, you, Jesus. Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. Well, we thank you, Lord, for your word is true, oh, God. You say the fervent prayers of the righteous availeth much. Lord, you're good, and there is none like you. We give you praise, glory, and honor, oh God. Realize, my God, it's all for your glory. But help us, oh God, to decrease, even as believers, more of you, Lord. Pour out your spirit, oh God. And as you pour out your spirit, oh God, help us, oh God, to just to take hold of your truth, to run and partner with you as you lead and guide us each and every day. Lord, give us a quickening of the spirit that we just just have a a thirst and a hunger for righteousness, for kingdom's sake. Lord, I thank you, Lord, for your goodness and your mercy, Lord, as I lift up families to you this evening, oh God. Lord, we see the enemy is busy trying to destroy families, oh God, and we just rebuke it right now in the name of Jesus. So we repeat the blood of Jesus over relationships, over marriages, over yes, just Lord. community and love for one another, oh God. Help us, oh God, to forgive offenses, oh God, to not hold on to disappointments, not to hold on to hurts. Lord, we just ask, oh God, you will help us as you pour out your spirit that we will be willing to partner with you, God, to let go of our hurts, to let go of our sorrows, disappointments, and to just rest in peace, realize, oh God, as you said in your word, is to be our most reasonable service to love each other, oh God, as you love us, oh God. You gave us an example, oh God, to how to love even as you died for us, O oh God. Help us to be willing to lay down our offenses for one another and to forgive one another and to love each other, O oh God. It's by your spirit, O oh God. We can't do it without you. Continue, Lord, perfecting our hearts, O oh God, making us ready to be the people of God you call us to be. And you said, if I be lifted up, I draw all men unto me. Be high and lifted up in our lives each and every day, Lord. Lord, we dispute, rebuke the spirit of divorce, Rebuke the spirit of division. Yes. Rebuke the spirit of just yes. 
It's doubt and fear. Yes, mm. yes. In the name the thing of that exalt itself against the knowledge of Christ, Lord. We rebuke it right now and release your loving kindness upon us, O oh God, as you purify our hearts, O oh God, as you help us, O oh God, to, to walk in love, to love each other, to love as you have us to love, O oh God, without respect of person, O oh God. We thank you, Lord. Forgive us of our shortcomings, O oh God. Help us not to hold on to offenses, but lay down our what we consider right or wrong, even though we may not say, we may not feel that we would at fault or did anything wrong. But help us to lay that aside, oh God. For you are a big God, oh God. Show us how, you already shown us how to love. Holy Spirit, have your way in me. Let it be so, let it be so all in your people, oh God, that your people, oh God, will bear much fruit for your glory. For you said in your word, how would they know unless yeah. you love? Yes, oh God. yes, thank you, Lord, for your loving kindness and do it forever. Yes, thank you. We ask, oh God, that you, you pour out your spirit on us, oh God. Yes, Father. Take time to seek your face. Yes, Lord. When you say that you delight ourselves in you, Lord, you, are, you will give us the desires of our heart. We can't be haphazardly picking up the word every now and then when it comes to the Lord when we get time. But, heart, but Lord, be our priority. Have your way, Lord. Perfect our hearts, O oh God, that we hunger and thirst after righteousness, O oh God, to love you, for you're worthy, O oh God. You are good, and there is none like you, Lord. Be glorified, O oh God, even as the word of God tells us, O oh God, as the dear Panthers, after you, Lord. Help us to hunger and thirst after righteousness, for your glory and for your honor. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for your goodness, your love and kindness, and your faithful, O oh God. We can trust you. Even in the struggle, oh God, help us to hold tight, have, hold fast, oh God. Yes, Father. We will reap if we yes. thank now, oh God. Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for who you are, what you've done, and all you're about to do. Help us, oh God, not to come to you just because we want something from you, but come to, come to you because you're because of who you are. Yes, you're, right. worthy yes. of love. you're worthy of That's our right. service. That should be That's our most right. reasonable service. That's right. That's right. To love and to serve you, Lord. Yes, you're Lord. worthy. Oh, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for the church of God. May we grow stronger each day to stand and to intercede for the lost, for the hurting, for the for those who don't know you, Lord. Even for us, as we unite together as one, one in you, Lord. Help us, oh God, to come together and to break down the walls of, of, of prejudices or indifferences that we may have. And help us to set all our differences aside, oh God, and to walk in unity and peace and love. For you said, if I be lifted up, I draw all men unto me. Behind lifted up in our lives each and every day, Lord, so that you will be glorified, oh God, that the kingdom of God will come. The will of God will be done here on earth. And we give you praise, glory, and honor for what you've done and all you're about to do, Lord. Help those who are hurting, help those who are sick, Help those who are hungry. You are supply, Lord. It's in you that we have life and life more abundantly. Pour out your spirit, oh God. We just thank you, Lord, for who you are and what you're about to do and all you're going to do. And we give you praise, glory, and honor. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 This is so fitting. I want to share the scripture I've selected. It says John 3:16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son so that everyone who believed in him would not perish, but have everlasting life. God is an authentic God. He is a real God. He is truth. And Father, I just pray right now, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, oh God, that your love would be about, Father. I thank you, Lord God, that your love would just be uh, permeate this world, oh God, and permeate, permeate families, oh God, the government leaders, oh Father, in the name of Jesus, oh God, I pray, oh God, that you would touch them right now in the name of Jesus, oh God. I pray, oh God, that they would seek your face, oh God, every decision, every decision that needs to be made, oh Father, that they would not go in their own strength, oh God, in their own mindset, oh God, but 
Lord, that they would look to you, oh Father, that they would call on your name, oh Father. They would look to you, oh God, for wisdom, oh God. They would look to you for direction, oh Father. Father God, I pray, oh God, that you would give them insight in the name of Jesus, oh God, that you would give them discernment of the spirit, oh Father, before they make a decision, oh God. They would have heard from you, Lord. They would hear from you, oh Father, and the decision would not be made on their own mind, oh Father, but they would have sought your your will. They would sought your mind, oh Father, in the name of Jesus, oh God. I thank you, Lord God, for for every uh, law or every decision that's out there that's about to be made, oh Father, concerning our country, oh Father. I pray right now in the name of Jesus, oh God, that you would intervene right now, oh God, that you would touch every governor, touch every president, oh Father, touch every uh, secretary of state, every judge of the United States court, oh Father. I pray right now, Lord God, that you would give them insight. You would give them wisdom and guidance, oh Father, in the name of Jesus, oh God. I thank you, Lord God, that your love, oh Father, will be about, oh Father, amongst the countries, oh Father, amongst the nation, oh Father. Help them to work together, oh Father. I pray, oh God, that your peace, oh Father, will rule and reign in this country right now, in the name of Jesus, oh God. And Father God, I pray, Lord God, for locally, oh God, I pray, oh God, that the violence would end, oh Father. I pray, oh God, that the shooting would come to an end. It would cease in the name of Jesus, oh God. Father God, I pray, oh God, that there be disagreement, oh Father, misunderstanding, oh God, that you would rectify it, oh Father. Help them to find another way, oh Father, besides shooting, oh Father. God, I pray, oh God, that you would touch their minds, oh God. Bring peace to their minds, oh Father, and their spirits right now in the name of Jesus, oh God. Anyone that may be struggling, oh Father, with emotional needs, oh Father. Lord, I pray, oh God, that you would touch them right now, oh Father. I pray, oh God, that you would put people in their path to minister to them, oh Father. In the name of Jesus, oh God, that you would help them, oh Father, to look to look for resources, oh God, to look to you, oh Father, because you are the answer, Lord. You are the answer that they need, oh Father. It's not in violence, oh Father. It's not in harming others, oh Father, because you're a God of love, oh God. And I thank you right now, oh Father, for divine intervention, oh Father, in the hearts and the minds, oh Father, of those that may be confused, oh Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, oh God. And Father, I pray right now, Lord God, for for schools right now. I pray, Lord God, for students, oh Father, for teachers, oh Father. I pray for leaders, oh Father, principals, superintendents, oh Father, counselors, oh Father, nurses, oh Father, everybody involved in the school system right now, oh Father, as they prepare to go back to school, oh Father. We're, we're, our first day is this, uh, this week coming on the fourth, oh God. I pray, Lord God, that the peace of God would just touch the hearts, oh Father, of everyone, oh Father. We know, Lord God, that they've faced, they have uh, been faced with uh, the shooting and Uvalde and all that's on their hearts, oh God. I pray right now in the name of Jesus, oh God, that you would just bring peace to their spirits, oh Father, that you would touch their minds, you would touch their emotions, oh Father. Let them rest in you, oh Father, knowing, oh God, that you are their protector, oh Father, yes, that you have your hand covering. I pray, oh God, that you, you encamp your angels around every school, oh Father, in the name of Jesus, oh God. Yes. You would be their rear guard and vanguard, oh God. You would be their protector, oh Father. Yes. I pray that not one teacher, oh Father, not one administrator, oh Father, not one student, that one parent would be fearful, oh Father, and allowing their child to come to Father, I pray, oh God, that you would impart the peace of God in their hearts and their minds and their spirits, oh Father, in the name of Jesus, oh God. And Lord, I pray, oh God, for every security officer, oh Father. I pray, oh God, that you would give them insight, you would give them discernment of the spirit, oh Father. You would help them, oh Father, to be alert, oh Father, as they are serving in the area of protection in the natural, oh Father, to help us, oh Father in the areas of school safety, in the name of Jesus, oh God. And Lord, I pray, oh God, that you would help teachers that, is prepared, that are preparing their wounds, oh God. I pray, oh God, that you provide what they need, oh Father, that you would give them clarity of thought, you would give them strategy, oh Father, as they prepare to receive new students, oh Father. In the name of Jesus, oh God, I thank you, Father. I thank you, Lord God, for a new school year. I thank you, Lord God, for every 
little lives, oh Father, that will be touched, oh Father, and changed, oh God, in the name of Jesus, oh God. I especially pray for parents, oh Father. I pray that this year, oh Father, that you would give them a greater parent uh, involvement, oh Father. Give them a greater connection, oh Father, with their school and their teacher, oh Father. Help them to be involved, oh Father, when their child's education, oh Father. Lord, I know, Lord God, that it can be a challenging time, oh, Father, for them. Some of them are grandparents, oh, Father, raising children. Some of them are new moms raising. I pray, oh, God, that you would help them, oh, Father, in every area of their lives, oh, Father. In the name of Jesus, oh, God, I thank you, Father, God. I pray, oh, God, that you provide school supplies, oh, God. You would help them. Father, I know, Lord God, that some of them have shared that the cost of things have gone up. But God, I pray, oh God, that yes, you would be, yes, you would provide, oh Father. I pray, oh God, that every provision yes, for their yes, lives would be met in yes, the name of Jesus, oh God. I pray, oh God, a financial blessing over them, oh Father. I pray a financial blessing over Father of all your families, oh God, in the name of Jesus, oh God. Let yes. them know, oh Father, that you are their provider, oh Father. Every provision for their lives would be met, oh Father, no matter what it is, oh Father, spiritually, emotionally, physically, oh Father, mentally, oh God, every yes, area, yes, oh Father. Yes. I pray, oh God, and I just thank you, Lord God, for covering them with your blood, oh Father. I thank you, Lord God, for your love, oh God. I thank you for your promises that are yes and amen. I thank you, Lord God, and I just pray, oh God, that anybody out there that may be going through a difficult time, oh Father, I pray, oh God, that will continue to stand on your word, oh Father, because your word does not lie. Your word is truth, oh Father. And Father, I pray, oh God, that you would give them the strength, oh Father, the strength, give them supernatural strength to stand when the times get tough to stand. Mm -hmm. And I thank you, Father, for what you've done. I thank you, Lord God, for covering families. I thank you, great God, for covering relationships, oh God. I thank you, great God, for covering just every area, oh Father. Government, oh Father, I thank you, great God, for just covering healing in our homes, oh Father, and those that may be suffering. Most. Yes, I thank you, great God, for what you've done and what you're going to do, oh Father. In the name of Jesus, oh God. Father, we just give you praise, we yes, give you glory, yes, and we give you honor, oh yes, Father, because yes, you are so worthy, oh God. Yes, you yes, worthy yes, to be praised, yes, oh Father. Yes, it doesn't yes, matter what we're going through, oh yes, God. Yes, You're worthy, oh Father. Yes, and we just thank you. We just give you praise. We give you yes, glory yes, and honor. Amen. Amen. Jesus, oh God. Yes, and we just thank you for yes, joining yes, us today with Oasis yes, uh, Connection Ministry. Yes, we thank you, Lord. For, uh, for those that are watching, I pray, oh God, that our prayers that have gone out may touch you uh, and make a difference. And I just want to say that God is love. He yes. loves you no matter what you're going through. That's right. That's right. He gave his son for you. So hold your head up and keep trusting and believing in him. We love you from Oasis Connection and have a blessed week. In Amen. Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Amen. Amen.